Good morning, Floss Tubers. How are you on this Sunday, October the 4th? Here it's uh, very cold. The weather has changed all of a sudden. And uh, it's going to rain, so it will be a fitting day. This video that I'm doing today uh, is just to give you an update on my whips. Uh, I have a finish and a couple small things. Um, so we'll just get right into it. I'm trying to talk louder. I've done this video a couple of times and you can't hear me. Um, so actually what I'm, why I'm saying that is because a couple of videos that I watch of you guys, I can't hear you. So if you can talk a little louder, that would be great. Um, I really enjoy everyone's videos. Um, I just can't hear it. And it could be me. It could be uh, I'm getting old as I speak. Um, okay, so. I made myself a couple needle miters. First one, I used some old jewelry of my mom's, and it's this puppy. Um, all you have to do is glue and a couple of magnets, and you got yourself a needle miter. That's that one. And I have charms, and I made a sun. I like this one. I actually really do. So again. Glue and magnets, and you're set. And I just buy it at Michael's. So that's my needle minders. Um, I took Dee Dee for a walk last night, or yesterday, and look what she did to my finger. Boy, was it hard to stitch last night. It hurt. So I got up this morning and I said to my husband, I can't do housework today. It hurts. And then, okay. But he doesn't know I'm going to stitch all day. That's what I'm going to do. So let's just get into um, storage. Um, I watched my first video and I realized how many whips I have. So I spent the last couple weeks organizing my floss. Um, the floss that are not in any projects right now are in shoe. I have two shoe boxes. This is one of them. And I put them in numerical order. Didn't realize I had that much floss. Um, it bugs me that I have a project or a couple projects that have uh, the same color, like you know, 150 or uh, everyone has black. Um, and it bugs me. Uh, but I did see the video from the Stash Queen how she handles her DMC floss, and she has um, I think six storage boxes. I'm going to try that. Um, I just it drives me nuts that I have all this all these different floss and I gotta go either buy them or look for them. So I'm gonna do my DMC floss that way. Um, I also went to this really pisses me off. I go to Michaels, I went to get my floss, DMC floss for the Raven Queen. I come home start organizing it and I realize two of the colors are wrong. You know how they have those little bins? Either I've grabbed them the wrong bin or they're mixed up. That pisses me off and I've done it a couple of times. So I think next time when I uh, buy uh, the pattern, I'm just going to buy the kit. I buy everything all together. Um, and, and any money I saved, I spent it on gas going to the back to Michael. Just pissed me off. But anyway, that's life. Um, okay. Finish. Tim Horton's coffee. Deep coffee. I don't know if coffee stitchers ever tasted Tim Horton's coffee, but you would really, really enjoy it. But anyway. A finish. Yes. January from the cottage, no, country cottage needlework. Simple stitch. Um, I'm going to make pillows out of this. Um, I even did French knots. And, but I have to frog out this a little bit. I didn't like how it looked, so I will frog it, frog it out today or, or sometime this week. Um, I have uh, February and March coming. I actually found um, a Canadian um, supply shop 
uh, for cross stitching and very lots of supplies. Um, she's in Ingersoll. She's about three ma three hours away. And um, it's called Central Stitch It or Stitch It Central. I've ordered twice from her so far, and they have this little um, discount. If you spend so much, you get a discount. Um, I'm just gonna uh, accumulate mine and then buy something special for myself. Uh, well, it always for myself, but anyway. Um, and when I got a couple hundred bucks, I'm maybe in the spring I'm gonna drive down and spend the day shopping. Uh, but it's nice to have a shop. Uh, in, uh, near me that I can go and buy stuff. Uh, I normally have bit, bought from Stitch123, but um, uh, it's nice to buy from some Canadian. Now that's January. Um, I posted it on fa uh, Instagram and someone, uh, a Facebook friend, asked me if I could make her a January. Sure. Uh, so I one of my whips is another January, but I'm doing it on linen. I'm going to make uh, uh, an effort to stitch on linen. Now I do find I have to put it in a snap frame because normally I am um, a hand stitcher. Um, so, and that may be, uh, I know of a lovely array who is Canadian, uh, stitches by hand. It could be a Canadian thing. Um, hand stitching, but and, and I learned um, when I was young embroidery and needlepoint. Um, so that's probably why I like the hand stitching. So um, yeah, it, it's so far it actually looks better than the the other one on Ada. Um, it, it is on white, but I it will. It'll be decent to see the snowman and everything. I just wait as cameras, you can't see it, but um, I will make a great effort. Uh, I'm just counting the stitches, you know, when you have to do something here, I'm going to struggle on. I will um, probably do this uh, or in early evenings um, again, or maybe one day on the weekend when the lighting is daytime and the lighting is better. So, um, yeah. I'm actually impressed with myself. The next one is, yes, the Raven Queen. Yes. Um, oh, I, and I went to Michael's and I bought these storage boxes. I have three, and the idea was to only have three working whips. I, I know I have more whips, but I'm going to work on these three. Um, before I show show it to her, I normally have always stitched on white Ada, cream or antique white. Um, I had it in my head. That's what cross stitching goes on. It's white, nothing else. Um, I seen the dye stuff at first, and I wasn't really like it. And I, as I see more of you working on it, I really enjoyed the colors. Um, uh, mainly, also it was on linen, and I never really stitch on linen. So I searched out um, on eBay and Etsy dyed fabric, and I found a Canadian supplier with for the colors for the Raven Queen. And um, I thought I'm going to go all out for her. I real when I first saw the Raven Queen, I got to do it. I got to do it. I already have a Mirabella. Uh, October, but I seen this one, um, the Raven Queen, and I thought, oh my god, I love her. Um, yeah, so anyway, here it is. I started it on October 1st. This is the Stitch, uh, Stitch Mania style. Here it is. Yeah. Love it, absolutely love it. I'm still waiting for the special thread and the bead, um, but yeah, um, it's not hard to stitch on 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 the blue. Uh, it's a lot of black, 
black in it, but black is hard to stitch anyway. So, yes, I love, love it. She is going to be worked on today, as I said, one day on the weekend until she's done. Um, and a little bit every night, a couple stitches, or, you know, spend an hour or so, try and do 100 stitches. Um, but, yeah, she's my queen. And I actually really, really enjoy the rainy scene. Plus, I'm not a Halloween person. Um, we don't get too many kids. So, this is a little different for me. So, I'm, I'm kind of happy. Um, okay. I did work on my Heaven and Earth. I had no idea you could buy many on this. The so Heaven and Earth one I have is... Um, um, 65 pages. I'm just trying to see if I can find it on my cell phone because I printed it off so you can't see uh, the, because I haven't printed it out. Maybe I should print it on black and white. Um, so I worked on her a little bit, um, but it's going to be a couple of years. Where is she? One second. Sorry. If you can see her. Um, in the meantime, I want to thank everyone for watching my, my video, my first video. I enjoyed doing it. Uh, my husband kind of made fun of me, so I'll, I'll fix him up um, for that little thing. Um, oh, yeah. On a side note, my mode. Bad internet. Satellite internet stuff. You can see it? My Blue Jays, they made the playoffs this year. They're going to be world champs again. But anyway, that's something that I, him that I have. 1992. Where is she? Where is she? Oh. Can't find her. I can't find my, it's, uh, I don't even know what it's called. But anyway, okay, sorry about that. I can't find her, so I probably have deleted. I, I'm, I delete everything. I just, I'm eight on that stuff. So, yeah, I can't find her. Nice. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, so I really enjoy everyone's videos. Um, uh, again, can you just speak up? Cause I, I, I can't hear. And um, <laughs> on that note, um, uh, I do run a group on Facebook, Stitchtastic. Uh, right now, I believe we have 333 members. But what I wanted to say was I have a great appreciation for MIMS now on Facebook. I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, running a group is hard work because um, you got to constantly uh, interact with everyone. Um, the girls on Stitchtastic are um, they're hard to motivate. I mean <laughs> they're hard to motivate. Wow. So I again I want to thank BMN. Um, just want to let you know uh, a note. Um, I'm on an eBay group and Last Saturday, I asked a question, and the guy misunderstood, and then he wrote this nasty comment, like, where, out of blue, where did it come from? So I gave him 10 minutes to apologize. Um, so uh, when you read questions, um, people sit back on anything, like, sit back and look at it first. Um, Everyone misreads everything and they all jump to conclusions. Just sit back and read the question or the comment. Then make your comment. Um, I, I've seen a couple of videos about bullying. Um, I don't get it. Why? Um, you know, and I see people dislike um, floss tube videos. If you don't like it, just pass it. You know, um, I don't get it. We're all together, and if you, you know, there's a couple I didn't like. I'll be honest, I didn't like a couple of videos. Um, 
just hit the button. Just hit next button, next video. Don't, you know, just leave it, let it go. We're here, it's supposed to be a community to have fun, inspire each other, and learn. That's what I take these videos as, and I hope you do too uh, when you see mine. Uh, so, yeah, end, end of that. Um, okay, I think that's it for today. I'm going to. Uh, too bad Dee Dee hasn't made her appearance yet. Um, but yeah, I'm still mad at her for that. But what can you do? You live in a shoe, I guess. I don't know. Um, so that's it for my video today. I hope everyone has a great stitching weekend. Continues on stitching. Inspires everyone. Um, and let's have fun. Okay, and that's it for today. Have a great Sunday. Thank you.